I'll let my glass over there, right? Yep. Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buzz and Suds. And so, you love them, I love them. Blind beer <laughs> challenge for Brian. Yeah, so I know, obviously, you guys know the drill. I poured this one. I know what this is. He doesn't. Uh, let's just go through it. All right. <clears throat> Pretty dark. And I see a red door and a... Can't really okay. see through the edges much. So. No. A little bit of a head left, but yep. just a tiny bit. All right, right, let's get the nose. Let's get the nose. Ooh, wow. <laughs> So I get vanilla, I get barrel character, some chocolate. Hmm. I don't get any other adjuncts. I don't okay. get cinnamon, you know, no other spices. Fair enough. Uh, so basically I just get vanilla, barrel character, it looks like a stout. So. Burn barrel stout, let's go. All right. Cheers. 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 Hmm. So first thing I get is, you know, bourbon barrel type character. So mm -hmm. a little vanilla, mm -hmm. you know, chocolate booziness. Um, I get a little bit of a burn. I can't tell if that's from an adjunct or if it's from the booziness. So I have to sit on that for a second. Okay. Yeah, I don't get really much else. So, okay. uh, you know, if you said that there was something like a cinnamon or a spice mm -hmm. in it, it, I would probably say, well, I get that, but it's, you know, a little bit in okay. the background. Okay. Uh, but if if you told me it was like a 12 or 13 percent, you know, the, the burn could be from that. Sure. But, I mean, it's a pretty good barrel-aged beer. Okay. So, a um, mouthfeel? It's a little on the thin side. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's not like uh, Jackie O's thin, uh, a little thicker than the typical okay. Jackie O's beers. Okay. So going with all that together, if this is a burn barrel aged stout, a little roastiness, which I like. Mm -hmm. um, Rating hmm. for style. So if I was rating it based on a non-adjunct barrel aged stout, yep. I'd probably give it this point I'm at a four or five. Mm -hmm. If the mouth feels a little better, I might go higher, but I'm at a four or five. I agree with everything you said. Um, there's one thing I got that you didn't get that yeah. I had originally. Do you get any fruit on this? I do not. So this is Jackie O's Double Barrel Dark App. Huh. So the Double Barrel actually is a port wine barrel. Okay. So when I originally had this, I agree with everything you said, but I got this hint of fruit and I thought maybe this is, it's 13%. So that was, your, so I thought, so it's burn barrel and uh, port wine barrel. So I thought, um, I didn't read the label or anything and I gave it a four or five. I actually checked it in and everything, but I was like, is this oxidized? I mean, I was kept getting this like hint of raspberry or blackberry or just this hint of fruit. And when I read the label and saw that, I was like, oh, this is intentional, this is great. I actually bumped it a quarter point. I, okay. It's kind of in between for me, but I, I bumped it to a 475. It's kind of right in between a 45 and a 475 for me. A little thicker, I agree, than your typical Jackie O's beer. I can kind of get, you know, the the soy umami type mm -hmm. flavor, and but I, can't, I couldn't really pin that on a different type of barrel. I yeah. just thought intentional oxidation, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Um, I, I, I'm gonna stick with Which is what five. I thought. It's, it's good. I'm gonna go, it's kind of right in between. I gave it a 475 last time. It's like a four or five plus. I, I, yeah. I'm kind of right in between there. A little thicker than your typ typical Jackie O's beer. Very solid, great barrel aged stout. Definitely get the vanilla, the bourbon barrel mm -hmm. character. And I get, like I said, I get this, I couldn't tell if it was a hint of intentional oxidation, you know, whatever that was. I, I call it, my, my taste buds and everything, call it like a raspberry, blackberry hmm. uh, type. Uh, flavor. I guess I just don't have that 
discerning palate for those, you know, that fruity type flavor. flavor. But I just I don't get that. But I do get a little of the soy umami yeah. type flavor from mm -hmm. it. But it's really good. This one's courtesy of Jeff, who did our share with us last year. Uh, Sammy's cousin. So Jeff and, and Sammy, thank you. Uh, Jack Yo's cool freaking label, by the way. Can you see all that silver and black? This is the Double Barrel Dark App. Um, Let's see if it's anything else real quick. Um, D flavors, chocolate, coffee, caramel, molasses, henna bitterness. Um, let's see, eight months in bourbon barrels and then transferred into port barrels where it rested for another six months. Hmm. Um, they say sweet cherries is the fruit they picked out. Um, hmm. Like I said, whatever fruit you get, it's kind of the, you know, when you brought your stout over and I got that kind of like a- I get a, a little on the nose now, just yeah. maybe. But um, this one, this one's solid. It's getting great, uh, great numbers. It's a really freaking cool label. Yeah, that's really um, good. But yeah, enjoy it. Another one, uh, great one from Jack Yo's. We love them. Relatively close to us, and so mm -hmm. thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Sammy. Thanks, Jeff. Anything Sammy else? And Adam. Yeah, no problem. Anything else? No. As always, guys. If you can't have the beer you love, love the beer you have. Thanks. <laughs>